Hi, my name is Chanel Mariano and today I'm going to show you how to do some old Hollywood waves using my Dyson Corral straightener. The first thing you'll notice about it is that it's cord free. If you want to work with a cord, you could easily attach the cord to it. It's magnetic, super easy. If you want to work cord free, you get up to 30 minutes of cord free styling time with it. What's great about it is while you're maybe sectioning your client out or brushing them out, you could easily just set this at the charging dock so it charges while you're not using it. My favorite thing about this is the flexing plates. The flexing plates just hold the hair, it gives you control, even tension, so hairs don't just slip out. Another thing I really like about this is this cool part here. I could touch it so I could get more control while I'm smoothing or maybe curling the hair. I'm really loving it. So for old Hollywood waves, what you wanna do is curl the hair as uniform as possible. So I pre-sectioned my mannequin head, but this is basically what I did. I did a deep side part. On the lighter side of the part, I curled all the hair away from the face. And then I worked my way around the head until I reached the other side. So on this side, on the lighter side, all the curls are curling away from the face. On this side, it's just curling towards the face. So here in the bottom, where I started, I'm gonna part the hair into four equal sections. I'm gonna twirl them just a little bit, just so I get some separation and it's gonna be easier for me to pick up later. Here's the first section. Here's my awesome new Dyson Corral straightener. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the hair horizontally, hold my straightener vertically, clamp the hair at the root, and then from here, I'm just gonna twirl. I have my mannequin head's head tilted down just so I could get a good angle in there. From here, I'm gonna hold it in place for a bit and I'm gonna release. I'm gonna take another section, pull it straight out of the head shape, horizontally hold my straightener vertically and I'm gonna twirl it, twirl or twist. Hold it in place for a bit and then release. Here on the third section, I'm gonna do the same thing. Clamp it right at the root. From there, I'm gonna twist it and pay attention to the direction I'm, I'm twisting. It's away from this side of the face, all the same direction. And release. I'm having really uniform looking curls. Same with this, straight out of the head shape, clamp, straightener is vertical, and twist the same direction until all the hairs are in the straightener. From there, I'm just going to release. When I'm done, instead of just setting this down, I'm gonna set it in the charging dock so it charges while I am sectioning the hair and prepping for the next row of um, hair to straighten. So I'm gonna take those same sections. I'm gonna pattern it to the ones underneath. I'm just gonna follow those lines. If you could make your sections and your curls as uniform as possible, the better the, cur uh, the curls or the waves will look when you're done. So it's easy to separate them right now because there's curls underneath. I'm gonna start right here. Same thing that I did underneath. Hold the straightener vertically, clamp it at the root, and twist. The same direction I did on the hairs in the bottom. I'm gonna keep twisting until all the hair feeds into the straightener. Hold it in place for a bit and drop. So what I love about the Corral is the flexible um, plates. Because they flex, they just hug the hair. Um, it allows me to have more control and it allows me to style the hair so much easier. I'm holding my straightener completely vertically. If anything, gravity should be pulling on, on the hair. It should escape my straightener, but it's not because of those flexing plates. Before, I wouldn't even think of doing this style with a straightener, but right now it totally works because I have all that control. Those flexing plates when I straighten hair also allows me to not depend on too much heat. I don't have to pass the hair so many times because of those plates. It holds all the hair and the hair tends to not escape on the sides. 
kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm curling, but because of those plates, the hair, it just stays put. It doesn't spread out. You could set it in three different temperatures. There's 330, 365, and 410 Fahrenheit. Right now I have it at 410. I'm gonna lower it down to 365. There, it's ready. So it's pretty quick. Another great thing about this straightener is it checks its, it checks or regulates the temperature a hundred times per second. And I love that. It won't just get really high out of nowhere or lower out of nowhere and then have to like make up for it by going super hot afterwards. You get consistent heat. Consistent heat plus that consistent tension. Hold it in place and then let it drop. Drop this section and I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did a while ago. I'm just gonna follow the sections from underneath. So I like using rat tail combs to do this. It's just easier to follow the lines from underneath. Just connect all of them. So for a bit, your client's gonna look like Shirley Temple. Her curls will be really tight, but that's fine. We're gonna brush it out afterwards. And when we brush it out, it's all just gonna marry and melt into um, a wave. So to really make them just melt into that one wave, you need to make everything consistent. So same thing I did underneath, pull the hair out, clamp at the root and just keep twisting. Another thing I like about using this um, straightener is it's cord free. So it allows me to just twist away and not worry about my cords getting twisted or tangled. This style I learned to do when I was assisting, I think around 2009. It's a classic style. I think it's timeless. It's perfect to have in your toolkit. But what I got out of this was more than just one style. What I got from learning this is discipline, you know, being able to practice my sections, you know, just paying attention to every little thing, like little details, which I feel like I was able to transfer to, you know, hair cutting. Section size, or even just paying attention to your iron, you know, the angle of it, the direction you're, you're twisting. I used to just lock myself up in a room with my earphones, do this and it's nice because if you if it doesn't wave perfectly afterwards you know the reason why it's inconsistency so it's a perfect thing to to practice and it's also a really pretty style okay so my last section on this row pull the hair straight out clamp at the root twist the iron the same direction until you run out of hair and see how much control I have. The hair's not escaping because of those flexing plates. Now I could add some of the hair from the front. So it's all in line with these hairs over here. I think that's a big section. So I'm going to break it in half, pull the hair straight out, clamp the hair right at the base and curl the same direction. Just twisting till all the hair goes in. Hold it in place for a bit and release. You know, another thing you could do too is you could get some pin curl clips and set them in place. Another thing I like about this straightener is I get to hold the top and get more control. It's cold, it's not hot. It doesn't burn my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna include these guys in the front. Let's release that, divide this in half, just like what we did on the other side. I'm gonna curl these away from the face, just all the same direction. This one in the very front. Now it doesn't have to be perfect if you do this on yourself or on your client. If they're not as uniform as possible, it will still look really pretty when you brush it out. Um, but if you really want them to all just blend in and melt together, 
it really has to be as uniform as possible. But if it doesn't perfectly blend in, I think it's still a really pretty style. With my Coral, because I get a lot of control, I don't have to make it super hot to curl the hair. And because I don't have to make it super hot, the hair doesn't get really hot. So next section, same thing. Vertical straightener. I clamped it at the base. I'm twisting the same direction as all the other curls, holding it in place for a bit. And I'm gonna release. So I'm charging as I go. But if I want the cord, I could easily just attach it to my, to my straightener. Clamp it in place, twist, it's so easy. Well, it's so much easier now than, when, uh, than how I used to do it back in the day. And then release. So I travel um, to teach classes normally. And I'm excited to travel with this because it comes with um, a pouch, a thermal um, pouch. And not just that, it has this lock that just keeps it close and just ready for me to stick into that pouch and into my bag. It also has a like an airplane mode kind of thing. You pull it out, that way you have peace of mind. It, there's no way it's gonna turn on. Um, that was a huge thing for me, traveling, worrying about my, my irons. Another thing I'm loving about this is this one will just turn off um, after 10 minutes. So it gives me peace of mind. Same thing, clamp at the base, curl the same direction by twisting and twisting and twisting until all the hair is in the iron. And release. Clamp, twist, hold and release. That's basically what this style is. So as you go up the head, because the head is round, your section sizes get smaller. Tempting to just get a big section and curl them all together, but you really, really want it to blend with the hairs underneath it. So just match those lines as much as you can. So normally when I have smaller sections, I don't get as much tension, but I still do because of those flexing plates. So here, same thing. I'm gonna use my rat tail comb to follow the sections from underneath. And again, same direction holding my straightener the same way I did on the other sections, except I'm on top of the head now, so it may seem like I'm holding it differently, but it's same. Same curling direction, holding it in place still, and then releasing when I'm done. So look at all those tight curls, right? So, oh, that cooled quick. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here because these have been cooling for a long time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a boar bristle brush and I'm just gonna brush it out. And when you brush it out, you really, really wanna brush it out. Get all the hairs underneath and you'll see they're gonna start forming into a wave. So just keep brushing. Sometimes I even wanna take sections, especially if people, if your client has really thick hair, section it out so you can really get in there and get all the hairs underneath, really brush it out so they could all blend and turn into a wave. So you could practice this style on yourself, on a mannequin head, and just wow your clients when we get back to the salon. It's super easy. So you see all those waves. So from here, just keep brushing. You could start to dress it. And get those ends too. You could dress it with a comb if you want, but if you really did your curls as uniform as possible, you won't have to work so hard making all these waves um, blend. When you get your comb, what you could do from here is go underneath each ridge and you could lightly tease it upwards just to emphasize it but just keep brushing and that should make them all blend in together. 
So there you go, old Hollywood waves. Another trick that I like to do is I like to use my, my hairspray bottle. Spray from far away and I like to use my, my hairspray bottle to sorta shape it even more. So here around the face, you could use that can to shape the hair even more. Another thing is after I lightly tease all these ridges to make them even more dramatic, I'll spray from afar and then I'll use the can to shape it even more. All these hairs in the bottom, I don't see, know if you see it. So normally clients wouldn't be this stringy like my mannequin head, but just in case they are, just use your rat tail comb and just separate them. And then use your fingers to kind of spread them out evenly. Just take some patience, time, and love. And then when you're happy with it, then just spray, spray all over from far away just to get the little baby hairs to stay, to accentuate those ridges. And then when you're done, you should get something like this. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. All it is, like I said in the beginning, is just try to curl your hair, all I mean, every single section as uniform as possible. And what really helped me make that happen today was my Dyson Corral straightener. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.